Sun point the wrong way. So, EG's here and Steve's here and other people are coming. We got EG's, yeah, Nick said he'd come around, Mitch is coming around. We got the red 180 and we're gonna do like the most budget metal it's flake. I know oh, it is budget car. It's not meant to cost like this. You're interrupting the introduction. It's meant to be a budget car. I know, we're doing a budget. This is the cheapest way to metal flake a car that we can possibly come up with. So, start. I don't know what I'm doing. Step one, we're just gonna. One. Well, you gotta. Oh, I see. Nothing. You explain that this has still got the one underneath it yeah, in, so some, in some spots. Yeah, it might affect it. So this car was the factory color, and then it got rattle canned, and then there was vinyl over the rattle can, and then it's been sprayed with tractor enamel over the vinyl. Twice. Twice. <laughs> so there's a few layers of paint on there. A and there's a B. But um, basically, we're just gonna clean all the dust off it, and then give it a scuff with the Scotch Bright. And the main key to that is going to be not scuffing through the red paint because we want the red paint <laughs> to still be good underneath. So, yeah. My let's... paint job is $120 as well. <laughs> That's good. That's so good. Anyway, let's start rubbing it down. Yeah, that's all right. So, so... so, basically, all we've got to do first step is just scuff the car down with oh, no. Scotch Bright. No, some of the vinyl's coming off. It's no, it's not the vinyl, it's the paint. The paint's coming off. Don't worry about the paint coming off. Right. You just gotta scuff all the paint down until it's like matte and not shiny anymore, so the clear coat's got something to stick to. So, it's kinda of hard to focus, because it's so glare. You can see the bonnet now is sort of matte, whereas the rest of it's glossy, so we gotta keep scrubbing it until the whole thing is not glossy anymore. So I think that's muff muff with the scotch Bright. All this paint fell off the bonnet, but has left no trace of falling off because it's just multiple layers of the same red paint so every bit that falls off there's more bits underneath that are exactly the same color so it's perfect it's an indestructible paint job you just keep unwrapping it but we'll give it a wipe to get all the dust off it and then we're ready to put it in the spray booth cool. Steve's just getting the rest of the dust off he's just gonna take the tail lights out because taking the tail lights out is less effort than putting tape around them oh, and it's okay. cheaper than taking tape around them I already bought the tape. We can save tape for other things. And Steve's wiping down. Normally you'd use wax and grease remover, but we're saving money and using water. Also, Steve's bum. You're gonna review the chip. Okay. This is intermission, Steve's review of Mountain Dew Doritos. Stop, EG. Don't buy this brand. You get really bad support from these guys. <laughs> anyway. Similar review of the chips. Don't buy Dorito brand chips. Well, Mountain Dew brand. Mountain Dew brand Dorito brand chips. Yeah, not very good. here so far has made it up the ramps. Okay, do you reckon make it up the, up the ramps without it severely touching? <laughs> is it gonna go? Just go backwards a bit. Yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think the timber was too short. Yeah, pretty stuck. Keep going, it's almost there. <laughs> Stop, that's the end of the jack. It's off the ramps, just go! Hey! I'm ready for Mitch's review of the Mountain Dew Doritos. Okay, I'm not going to think about it too much. It does taste like Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's just it's just weird, but it's not bad. It's kind of like a limey kind of flavour. 
It's like a sweet chili and lime without the chili. It's just like a lime chip. Lime chips. But yeah, I can see it tastes like Mountain Dew a bit. <laughs> so we're just getting everything masked up. We're just going straight for the plastic with the tape already attached to it and then not bothered taping on top of that because it's easier. I just gotta finish doing the bonnet pin. EJ finished doing the roof. Nick and Steve are handling the rest of it. Well, Steve's just talking. Nick's doing the actual work. I'm supervising. <laughs> What's Mitch doing? Mitch. Actually, yeah, where is Mitch? Mitch, Mitch is, is here. Climbing the, um, shirt. Oh, Mitch is climbing the wall again. He's Mitch gonna get me in trouble. I hope this is a short video. It probably won't be. We're trying to put this piece of plastic over the engine, but because the engine's warm, <laughs> it keeps inflating the piece of plastic. It's like a hot air balloon. It's actually like. like is it actually no, 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 hang no, no, no. Hang on. No, no. I'm in there, slide it. Alright, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna put, put a hole in it. Put a hole it's gonna in help. It is Balloons nice and... have holes in that. I'm gonna, gonna put a hole in it. Okay. It is nice and warm in here though. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, yeah. it's kinda of still going, it's still going back up. The engine bay heat's causing us problems. The windscreen cover keeps going okay. super bulbous. Oh, everything's finished being masked up. This piece of plastic insists on turning into a big bubble, so I'm just gonna leave it like that and see what happens. And I think we're ready to start, or at least work out the ratios for the clear and stuff. It's all clear. What ratio do you mix it to? I'll just Google it. Well, let's start Googling stuff. Front, red, rear red, in the middle. It's not, not too much. Mid offset would be better rather than like one third, one third, one third. Yeah. We've got two colours of flake. We've got a tub of blue stuff from another car and a tub of red stuff from another car. So we're thinking about trying to do like a blue, like whole car red flake, then like a blue stripe, but just out of flake down the middle. We're going to attempt it and see what it looks like or if it even looks like anything or if you can even tell it's there. Yeah. It might just all look exactly the same. Yeah. But we'll give it a go. And see it. Apparently there's paint in my eye. Now that I look at myself, uh, yeah, you take the camera, video the pain in my eye. Uh, I think we need a different lens. It's a manual focus. Yep. Stop moving. Reflection of the paint in my eye. In the um, in the reflection of the lens. I'm gonna go get it out of my eye. Yeah. So we've decided on making. Six, seven hundred mils of blue. I mean, six or seven hundred mils of this red, which is kind of pink, but it's supposed to be red. We're going to make like two hundred mils of blue to try and do the stripe in the middle. So this is just two K clear, and hopefully, this amount is enough to do the whole car. Because it's supposed to be budget. <laughs> right on. This is a it's retardant similar. shape container. It's pretty much the same shape as the top of this one, though. Yeah, but if that one pops out, oh, this that one doesn't. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Most of it went in. Oh, it's gone on the floor. Yeah, that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's not your floor. So well, how many spoonfuls do you reckon? Like 20. 20? Hail heaps. Uh, Paul's car had 20 spoons in it. 20? Yeah. What do you need to do in here? Half of yeah, I don't want to go like nuts like oh, Paul's we'll one. 10 spoons in. 10 spoons. Yeah, I don't, I think it was too much. I'll start dipping it in, see what it looks like. So these sort of heaps? Yeah, like heaps. Two. Is you don't put it on thick like paint, you spray it from like back here pretty much and sort of dust it on because you want it to sort of just float onto the car so all the bits of flake land up different ways to get like holographic effect. If you just spray it on flat, the flake all sits flat and it looks flat. So we'll try and spray it on like that and hopefully we get a good result out of it.
separate. So we're going a bit lighter on on this car than on the S30. You can see how much is on there. Yeah. Is that about the amount you're after? Yeah, a bit lighter. Cool. Well, we'll mix up a bit of blue flake and then try and do the blue section yeah. down the centre of the door. Right. Oh no. Oh. Has it got, has it got flake underneath it? No. Ah no. That doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, I was worried the windscreen bubble would do that. The windscreen bubble's gone flat now, but that bit came out and left the section with no flake. Yeah, it'll be right. Yeah. All right, blue flake time. So that red was 600 mil worth. Now we're just going to make like one or 200 mil worth of the blue flake just to do that stripe down the center. Hopefully that's enough just to cover that one bit. I'm just giving the gun a quick rinse with the thinners to get most of the red sparkles out of it. If there's a few red sparkles in there, it's not going to matter. But we want to try and keep the red ones out of the out of the blue. The other thing is you have to keep mixing the sparkles constantly because they settle to the bottom of the cup. And when you're painting, you want to try and keep swishing the gun around to keep the sparkles mixed up. I've seen a few people even say you should drop a few like stainless steel nuts in the bottom of the cup to keep the sparkles mixing. But we'll spray that stripe now. Now, EG is just mixing up a litre of just clear without sparkle in it. Because at the moment the car has like a sandpaper texture. So now we're just going to keep adding like clear, clear coat until the car's smooth. Finished. So how much clear did it end up being? <laughs> no idea. So you can definitely still see it. You really can't see the sparkliness. It has to be in the sun to be able to see the sparkliness. And it doesn't come up on videos very nicely. But that is a complete guide on budget metal flake. Yes. Job. I think the, I think the two, the tin of clear with the hardener was, shouldn't be more than 200 bucks, I don't think. Yeah. Don't, I, I bought the cheapest shit you could. Yeah. That's about as cheap as you're going to get this sort of paint job. And then the, um... It's cheaper than the flakes were. The flakes were... 90 bucks, what do you mean? 110? Oh, they were like 90 plus $20 postage or something. Yeah, because I got them one by one. But I use like, um, I use a lot less than four. Yeah, we only used a tiny amount of the actual flake in it. So, it probably would have been about $20 worth of flake. Yeah. It's really hard to tell how flat it actually is because this car has so much like other random <laughs> bumps and lumps and... We're preserving the, uh, <laughs> the history of the car. Like I keep thinking stuff is runs, like I thought there were heaps of runs in it here. It all looks like runs, but that texture was in there like when we were scotch riding it because I remember scotch riding over the top of it. <laughs> That's the, uh, the vinyl when I pulled the vinyl yeah, off. Yeah, the vinyl peeling. I'm peeling it off like in bits. Some of the bits I, I get a scraper or like, and then I push Pull, push, pull, and yeah. then the vinyl comes off. Like these tandem door marks are permanent now because they're under the clear and the metal flake. Oh yeah, it's like... Oh, Fink. Mr. Fink. And then even... <laughs> I like that the... It's so shiny now where the um, body damage is. Okay, so we're back the next night, pulling all the um, tape and stuff off, ready to take the car home. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait till the like next drift video I put up, which will be at Maroolan, to see what the car looks like in the sun. But overall, it looks like pretty nice and sparkly. There's a few like lumps coming through where the glitter is. There's enough clear on there that you could sand it flat and repaint it if you wanted like a really nice job. But we're definitely just leaving it like this because it's sparkly it's and glossy. And yeah, it's going to be cheap. But we'll finish pulling the plastic off it. And then if you want to see what it looks like in the sun, Keep an eye out for my next video from the next drift day because this should be out on track. Hopefully still looking like this at the end of the day. What? No. No way. I want to hit Paul. Okay, well the front's going to be stuffed, they're just going to hit Paul and other than that it's going to be fine. It's going to have probably a few more of these. A few more of these as well, but without the flake over the top of them. Yeah. But, yeah. Anytime Paul strains out his car, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> so I think I'll leave it at that for that video, hopefully you learned something and you can go to the shop now and buy some clear and some glitter and do the same thing to your car and everyone can have sparkly cars and it'll be sick.